So some other things that you can do that are supportive, because we know our situation isn't everyone's situation. Just like Alex said, and we were talking about this the other day, if we both weren't working on the business right now, it would be so hard to have someone working as much as we do, and then to have someone else have an office job where they're off at specific times and aren't working for themselves. So we understand that. So we do want to talk about a few other things that can be done um, to be supportive. So um, one is going to be being able to communicate, obviously, but setting boundaries is going to be a huge one of, hey, I really need these comments not to be said or these things to not be joked about because Alex and I will have things that we joke about in general or me and my family have things we joke about. And then we get to a point where I say, hey, right now I really can't handle that being something that's joked about or being something that's said, or I really need to stop work at this time to be able to accomplish this. Whatever it may be, setting boundaries is really going to be helpful in your professional life, your personal life, and then your relational life as well. Um, other things that you can do as someone supporting a competitor is asking questions and asking caring questions. Ask how you can support them because each person's going to be different. Ask about their day. Ask about how they're feeling. Ask if there's anything that you can do to help them. And also know not that you should ask questions in hopes that someone else asks the same question back, but being able to ask those questions in hopes that it does kind of settle in their mind that, hey, I'm thinking about you and I support you. And I also want that in return because you always want to be the person that you also want them to act. And that's something that Alex and I have learned within our relationship is leading from the front. If I want Alex to do something, I should be willing to do that or support him in that way and vice versa. Um, offering practical help. So if they're saying, hey, I'm super stressed, I'm falling behind with X, Y, and Z saying, hey, can I go ahead and fold the laundry today? Or can I go ahead and help you with meal prep? Or just be in here and talk to you as you meal prep and being able to, again, just offer some practical help that's going to be able to have success for you guys as a team. Because that's the other thing is that you're a team in this. Even if one person is competing and the other one isn't, you're still a team within your relationship. And keeping that at the center is going to be extremely helpful. Yes. And I think that this comes back to kind of the thought process of like, I make a lot of analogies to sports. So um, as you guys have learned over the podcast, so you think of this as the thought of like Sue is the athlete or the player on the football field. She could be the quarterback, if you will. Whereas in the business, we're on the field together, but with her in prep, even I, I've got a headset on because I'm a coach in the aspect, but I'm also a cheerleader. I've got a double role here. <laughs> First he quarter, has a skirt on and a headset. Right. First quarter, I'm I got the headset on. Second quarter, I've got the the skirt on. And <laughs> so, in that aspect, think of it in that thought process that helps me. I know that for some individuals who are listening, who have a sports background, relating things to sports always make it a little bit easier to digest uh, for myself. So, uh, I think that that's a useful tool. Yeah. And I also think it's very helpful to validate someone's feelings and to be proactive within your conversation to, again, just sidestep things that don't really need to happen as they go through it. But I did want to kind of circle back to something that's difficult within prep, and that's going to be like going out to dinners and date nights and what that looks like. So do you want to talk about things that we either have done wrong or have done right in those situations? <laughs> um, Last prep was a little bit different with it being a COVID prep, but but yeah. The one thing I'll, I'll kind of add on to the last part is when you are the, the sig significant other who's supporting the competitor, when they come to you with something that's going on, I would clarify before they start to speak, are you wanting advice or something that I can help with? Or do you just want me to listen? Because there's going to be times that the prep is just hard and your significant other wants to lean into you and uh, blow off some steam or uh, be frustrated or what have you. It has nothing to do with you. You're just kind of the ear uh, that's there and that's okay. But there's going to also be times that maybe your significant other is looking for advice on something or help on something like the folding the towels or, or what have you. Um, and 
I think that clarifying that up front and again, setting expectations properly, one, allows for you to listen better, but also puts you in a position where you can actually be beneficial in that moment and not cause greater friction because there's certainly been times where I did not do this and Sue is coming to me with something going on and I'm thinking my initial response to absolutely everything is how can I fix this? How can I make this better? I can always make everything better in my mind. And so in that, there are just times where that's just not what we're looking for. We just want to listen or we want you to listen and that's it. So uh, creating that clarification is very important. That was an excellent point. And we are both fixers. So it has been something that we had to learn through a lot of trial and error of, again, that communication of being able to just know and ask what that person is wanting so you can have that clarity because you can't expect someone to know exactly what you're thinking. You just can't. And the second that I truly understood that, I think the better things got for both of us because I was just able to vocalize more things and vice versa so that we could just keep learning about each other and keep knowing how to be a better partner for one another. 